Good morning, Room 801. Today I am here to help you with one of our math worksheets. So today's math worksheet is titled One Less, Set One. And this is page 46. So for today's tools, you're going to need this math worksheet. We are going to need to color, so you need something to color with. You also need something to write your name with, a pencil, marker, or a crayon. So once you have all three of those tools, we can start to get started. Okay, so I have my worksheet and all of my tools ready. So the very first thing that I need to do is write my first and last name up at the very top of my paper. So you can go ahead and do that now. Okay, I wrote my name nice and neat up at the top. I'll wait for you guys to finish. Okay, now that you have finished, we need to read our directions so that we know what to do. And our directions say color the set that is one less than the given number in each row. So first, let's make sure that we know all these numbers. This is the number three. So remember, I want you guys to tell me this is the number two, five, and four. Good job. Okay. So I made us another number line. <clears throat> and when we're looking at one less, instead of going forward, we're actually going to go backwards and take one away. So the first number they want to know is what is one less than three. So if we take one away, go back one, we need to look for two. So let's look up at the top at all these lunch pails. We want to count until we can find the number two. So let's count our first set. We have one, two, three, four, not that one. Let's count this set. One, two, three. That matches, but they want one less. So let's try this set. They have one, two. So that is the set that we need to color. The set that only has two, lunch pails so you can get your coloring tools and color just these two lunch pails. Okay, I did my best to color in the lines and I colored just two because two is one less than three. So now we have the number two. We need to figure out which number is one less than two. So if we look at our number line and we start at the number two and we take one away, we have the number one. So we need to find the picture that has only one ball. Which picture has only one? You're right, this one, this one ball. So we're gonna get our coloring tools and color just this one ball. Okay, I chose to color mine kind of like a soccer ball. 
So now we have this larger number, the number five, and one less than five. If we look at our number line and we start at five, then we take one away, we have the number four. So we need to find the picture that has four schoolhouses. So let's count each one. This first set has one, two, three. Okay, not that one. This set has one, two, three, four. And we said four is one less than five. So I'm going to write the number four. Oh, I forgot to write the number one. And now that I wrote the number four, I can color these four schoolhouses. Are you guys coloring with me? Coloring nice and slow, make sure that I stay in the lines. Okay. I've colored four schoolhouses, nice and neat. So now I can move on to my last number. And this we said was the number four. So if we look at our number line, and we start at the number four, and we take one away. One less than four is three. So we need to find the picture that has only three trees. So let's start with this set and count. We have one, two, three, four. Well, that matches, but they want one less, so let's keep going. This set has one, two, Three, four, five, too many. This set has one, two, three. So this is the set that I'm going to write the number three. And then I need to color just these three trees. Green and brown to color trees. So their bark is brown and their trunk is brown like that. And now I need to do it on the other two trees. Okay, and now I need green for the tops of the trees, which is their leaves. Nice and green, these are healthy trees. Healthy summertime trees. Okay. 
Okay. I've colored my three trees nice and neat and in the lines. So now that we are finished, we can go up to the very top and color this cute little girl looking at a bug. And then this worksheet will be all done.